We have this huge deficit. We're spending a nearly a trillion dollars with maintaining our empire overseas. We can't perpetuate a welfare state and police an empire without going bankrupt, and we're Congressman. nearly on the verge of that. We're defaulting every single day. That's what your prices are doing. Prices go up, they're defaulting on your money. So we need to look at the Federal Reserve System. The dollar is going down, the cost of living is going up. Our dollar today is worth four cents compared to the dollar of 1913 when the Federal Reserve took in charge of it. If you don't deal with the dollar, there will be no retirement for anybody. We're going to have chaos. And that is why you have to cut spending. That's why we need a new foreign policy. We find this, all this military activity overseas is bankrupting this country. We live way beyond our means with a foreign policy we can't afford and an entitlement system that we have encouraged. We print money for it, the value of the money goes down, and poor people pay higher prices. That is a tax. It's a transfer of wealth from the poor and the middle class to Wall Street. Wall Street's doing quite well, but the inflation tax is eating away at the middle class of this country. We need to get rid of the inflation tax with sound money. If you look at the price of oil in the last 10 years, if you look at it in terms of dollars, it went up uh, 350 percent. If you look at it in euros, it went up about 200 percent. If you look at it in the price of gold, it stayed flat. It's the inflation. It's the printing of money. It's the destruction of the value of the dollar. Added on to this, the notion that we go to protect our oil. Oil was $27 when we went over there to get the oil and protect the oil and take the oil from Iraq. There's less, than, there's less than about half the production now in Iraq right now, and we're threatening Iran, and that pushes prices up. It pushes up the concept of supply and demand. But you can't deal with the price of oil without dealing with the supply and demand of dollars. When you devalue the dollar, and the dollar is going down every day, and the further the dollar goes down, the higher the prices of oil going up. We have to understand that. We're in the midst of a currency crisis. Our dollar is going down rapidly as we speak. It's because we have lived beyond our means. We can't afford the foreign policy that we have. We have to cut back. We have to live it within our means. If we're going to spend money, we ought to spend it at home. And that is why we have to change this foreign policy. We can't afford it to do what we're doing today because it will destroy our dollar. So if we want prosperity, we have to change our foreign policy. We have to live within our means. We're broke. We have to do something about it. We're in big trouble. Prices are going up. Unemployment is continuing to go up. And we have not had the necessary correction for the financial bubble created by our Federal Reserve System. And until you allow the correction and the liquidation of debt, you can't have growth.